What's going on guys? Prism Fishing here, back with another video at the golf course by myself here. And there's no golfers until noon. So we're gonna get some good fishing in right here. Hopefully we can catch a giant and actually get it on camera this time. Boy, that sucked. But we got a brand new rod here. Check this out guys. This guy right here. This is actually from a video game. I'll show you guys a little bit more later once we get to the spot, but this is gonna be exciting. Stay tuned and let's get into them. All right guys, so here is the lowdown. Last time I fished this bridge, I actually caught a seven pound, 13 ounce largemouth bass, but I wasn't recording with the camera. And then later, once I was putting all the footage on the computer, I ended up deleting the wrong files. And so you'll never see that video anyways. But what happened is I was fishing about right here and I side casted it whoosh, with a spinner bait, you know, the Guggen Squad Zinger in white. I was fishing that sideways, whoosh, parallel to the dock here. Let it sink for two seconds. Boom. Thought I hit a rock. Nope. But enough about that. That is in the past. Today, we're going to try to get him again, but we got this beautiful masterpiece of a rod here. The reel is completely separate. 30 likes and I'll do a separate review on the reel. But check this out, guys. This is absolutely a sick rod. Even got some gold lining here. And then I believe this is a carbon fiber wrap around the rod here the medium two-piece rod. The lure weight they recommend is two-sevenths of an ounce to one ounce, which is actually quite a lot for a spinning rod. So I actually got my Google Squad blooper on here, and we're gonna try to get some topwater action in on here. See how it does. All right, so far so good. So today, the main goal with this rod that I'm trying to achieve here is realizing how good it is at actually fighting fish. Oh, oh, we just had, oh, I missed it, dang it. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking down at the rod and there was a huge swirl on the, on the blooper. Oh, there we go. All right, nice little guy just, oh, dang it. Well, it had some good bend to it. I didn't hook him good. That's all right, it was just a tiny guy. Oh, how did he miss that? What the heck? How the frick did he miss it? He's right on top of it. Mm. There we go. There should be a, a decent fish right there. Right next to those weeds. How? What? What is going on? What the heck? There's treble hooks on this thing. Oh, I got him. There we go. Finally. All right, this rod's got some good fight to it. Nice power, nice bend. There we go, guys. The first fish on the Namu, I think it's, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the name of the rod right here. Very nice. There we go, decent first fish. Thanks, dude. So fighting that fish, this rod has a ton of backbone. That might be the carbon fiber wrap around here, but the line was super smooth going out and the rod had a great bend to it. And this thing really does put a ton of power behind it. Man, if I do catch a huge fish, that would be the true test. Oh, I think one had it right there. Yeah, he just sucked it under. Oh my God. That one pulled really hard though. Nearly pulled the gosh darn rod out of my hand. Somehow he still missed it. There we go. All the way out there. Oh, I think he's in the weeds. Oh, there we go, he's out. But is the fish still on? Or do I just have a ton of weeds now? I think there was still a fish there. I think I see a fish. Yep. There he is. Nice little fish. Thanks, dude. Nice little grass bass there. All right, let's go ahead, move spots here. I know it's the, not the most exciting place to fish, 
But I wanted to try a couple casts over here by the dock just because I know some people have actually caught some big fish over here. So we're gonna try it for a couple casts and then we're gonna move down. There we go. Oh, we got some air time. There we go. Thanks, dude. Kerplunk. Go! Oh, that was a bad cast. That's all right. That's all right. All right, blooper. Go get me the big one. Go. Get it. Get it. Get it. God, 10 pounder on top water? That would be nuts. I'd probably cry. Oh, God. That was vicious. Jesus, did you see how hard he hit it? Look at the crappie though. Jesus, I thought that was a 10 pound bass. Damn. <laughs> there might have been two fish there. Cause I I highly doubt that this one tiny crappie. Thanks, dude. That one tiny crappie made that small of a splash. I really thought that was a monster bass. I thought that thing was huge. Jesus. If they both swiped it at the same time, that would have been sick to get two different species on the same cast on the same lure. That would be awesome. God, look at all the birds. There we go. So the key is for top water, once you see them smack it, you want to at least wait a second for them to get back under the water before you set the hook. Oh, there we go. That's a better size crappie. Thanks, dude. Oh, how did he miss that? What? He like completely jumped over it. That was a decent fish. Oh. oh, shit. How did that happen? One thing I don't like about this rod, and this is probably one of my only gripes with it. This wood, and yes, this is actual wood, it gets really slippery when you're fishing and when you're going to cast and you have your line here it's very easy for it to slip out and it's very easy for your finger to slip off too so either the line slips or your finger slips which results in a nasty cast like you guys saw i actually want to get my blooper back i don't know why i didn't do that the first time but i want to get my blooper back oh my god see I, I don't know what happened there, but it might have got caught around the little hook keeper here, but let's get my blooper back. Oh, well, that was a good cast for it. Come on, blooper. And target acquired. Did I get it? <gasps> yes, first try. Let's go. Yes, look at that. Got it with the one treble hook. Well, we got our blooper back, so now we don't need to pay money to get another one. Yeah, it it's really hard to throw these heavier lures because that your finger just really wants to slide off super easily. They can't really get a good cast in with these heavier lures. Let's try a couple more times. All right, it, it just takes a little bit of finesse. Yeah, see, my finger slipped on that one. Ah, finger slipped again. And in my opinion, personally, I like to throw heavier lures on bait casting rods and reels anyways. But it's just interesting to note. Occasionally, your finger will slip off. It has no problem casting the lighter lures. But once you start moving up in weight, it's, it's very hard to keep your finger locked onto that line and really let it go exactly where you want because that lure just wants to travel and fly and it's pulling the line which is moving your finger which is makes it slide off so i'm gonna change here and we're gonna go back down to our sandy spot where we normally have some good luck i'll see you guys there you probably saw it coming before i move i just really want to try out jerk baits with this rod because you guys know how much i love jerk baits i catch so many fish yeah, see, now these lighter lures catch so much easier than that giant whopper plopper. Now the extra backbone that's actually on this rod ends up working great with this jerkbait because it has just enough 
to really flex and really rip that jerk bait around. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, oh, first cast. That was sick. I could have got a hook in my hand right there. That was bad. There we go. Thanks, dude. Jesus, ripped a hole in my thumb. Ow. Jerkbait might be the move this morning instead of the topwater bite. I mean, yes, got a couple fish on topwater, but I saw that bass, and I mean, he was really tracking that thing, following it. He was going crazy for it. He was going cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, this cast is so much easier than the, the Whopper Plopper. So one of my favorite ways to work the jerkbait is super erratic and then kill it. Do a couple jerks, then just kill it and stop. And a lot of times they'll pick it up on the pause. See, right there, right on the pause, but. Oh, he's still on, I thought he was off. There we go, nice little crappie. Jerkbait catches them all, guys. So sometimes when I'm fishing jerkbaits, I either go super erratic and stopping, or sometimes I'll just do a couple reels, reel in the slack there, and just do two very prolonged, slow jerks. That one also works really, really well. And a lot of the times when you go back in to do your next set of flicks with the rod, you'll actually have a fish on right there and you basically automatically set the hook. Sometimes when the fish are more finicky, they'll eat it slow like this, but other times you just really gotta work it crazy like. But this rod, this rod's really nice. I've used it a couple times before, but never to this extent. Today is the first like full test of what this rod can do. So, so far, I'm really impressed. So I haven't really talked too many specs about this rod aside from, you know, lure weight and things like that. But most importantly, the price. The price isn't anything to write home about. This rod will set you back, just the rod alone, 200 bucks, which honestly, I think is well worth the price. I mean, it's very beautiful and great to hold in the hands. It's got great balance to it, and it's super light as well. So 200 bucks, you got premium components here. I believe all of these parts are Fuji. I could be wrong, I'll put it somewhere in the video if I'm wrong. I'll look it up and put the specs somewhere so you guys can see it. But honestly, like this is well worth the price. I mean, minus, minus the reel, but, because I only bought the rod. Got nice little fishing planet logo down there i mean this thing is just absolutely crazy and it works too like you would think a rod that looks this good would just be like a wall piece or you know something like that but no it actually works and it's really good and it did come with a very very nice rod sock i'll show you guys when we're heading out here but that rod sock is super nice haven't seen any rod sock like it before um I'll show you guys later. But for now, let's just get back to fishing here, trying to catch this monster fish that I know for a fact is in here. <gasps> okay, we're staying here. Do you guys see that giant bass right in front of me? Oh, tell me, I really hope you guys can see that. Defining moment on the channel. Can he catch? Can he catch? What, I don't know, that's probably like at least four at least four. See, that's the funny thing about fishing though. One more cast, one more cast. Okay, one more cast. Oh, giant fish, I stay. So I know I'm not the best at reviews, guys. I'm really not. I also did a review on this rod and it was actually in my backyard in winter. But I will say I have been using it quite often. This is also an awesome setup. I mean, I could probably do a better review on it in some other video, but this is also a real good bait caster. Fishing Planet also has a bait casting setup, but I have not tried that at all. But if it's anything like the spinning setup, it's gonna be a tough competition against this. But by far, that's my favorite spinning rod. Didn't catch it, didn't wait, don't know. All right, let's move down now. So guys, I'm not being paid to promote this rod at all. 
but this thing really is awesome and I will leave a link down to their shop so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And even if you don't wanna buy this rod, it's from Fishing Planet, which is actually a free game that I believe it's on every platform. I'm not sure about Xbox. It might be, might not be. I know it's on computer and I know it's on PlayStation because I have them for both. And I have played it and it's a very realistic fishing game, guys. I have a lot of fun playing it and I have sank quite a bit of money into it because it's so much fun. And now that they actually have tackle to go along with it and it's so fancy and so nice, it's just crazy. All right, enough talk. Let's get to the next spot. All right, guys, here we are. Let's get it going here. Let's catch some fish. Oh, there we go. First cast in the new spot, let's go. Nice little crappie. There we go. Thanks, dude. I want the bass to come out and play. The big babies, the big puppy bass, the child-sized bass. Yes, sir. What a monster. Let's go. All right. All right, thanks, dude. <laughs> Easy release. Thank you. Oh no, the mosquitoes are coming out. Oh, that's a better fish. There we go. Well, it's got more meat than the last one. So that's always a plus. There we go. Thanks, dude. See, my finger slipped again. Smack the water. That's how you lose lures. 10 pounder. I'll settle for a two. If the fish gods are willing to give me a two, I will satisfy. I will be satisfied with a two. There we go, he was playing with it. I mean, it's it's not a monster fish, but hey, at least I saw my jerk bait moving around when I wasn't touching it. Thanks, dude. Yes, a better fish, let's go. Go! Oh, yes. The powers of mosquito elbow. Dang it, dude, I'm getting demolished by mosquitoes. I bet it's all this grass that's on top of the water. There we go. Thanks, dude. I will be okay with one pounder now. Prefer a two. Lucky if it's upwards of four, but I will settle for a one just because all of these other ones are dinks. Yep, there was a little dink playing with it. Frick, I don't want it. I don't want it. Get away from me. All right, guys, all in all, I mean, this rod, it does work really great. Two-piece rod, Fishing Planet, link in description. At least go check their website out. This, I mean, honestly, I would pay 200 bucks to get that. Fantastic. All right, guys, that's gonna be it from me today. Oh, dang it, we almost got that six pounder or whatever. Oh, that's a giant hole. Anyway, <laughs> we almost caught that huge fish. Gosh, darn it. But hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, this rod, check it out, guys. It's awesome. Remember, 30 likes and I'll do a review on that reel that I've been using for a while. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna go get some donuts. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys, before I forget, this is the rod sock that it came with. And you guys can hear, it's like this ripstop sort of material. So it's, it's waterproof on this side, but on the other side here, it is a mesh so your rod can dry out and all nice and stuff like that. I don't know how easy it is to see exactly, but there is also two compartments here, one for one piece and then you flip it and there's another piece right there. I mean, black gold and this yellow trim looks pretty sweet. Now that's it. Stay awesome and I'll catch you on the next one.